can tell what kind of a crowd you're standing in front of by the way they greet friends or by the way they greet strangers when they greet you. So let's try that again. Good evening. Good evening. Now that's more like it. You all do my mama proud. My name is William McNary, and I'm the co-director of Citizen Action Illinois, and I'm a proud member of a group called Healthcare for America Now, soon to be known as Healthcare for America Right Now, Right Now, Right Now. At Citizen Action Illinois, we say there are three kinds of people. There are people that make things happen, there are people that watch things happen, and then there are people that don't know what's happening. I can't think of any place else in the world I would rather be on a Wednesday night than right here in the greatest city in the world, yeah. the hometown of the President of the United States, Barack Obama, in a crowd full of aggressive progressives, people who are not just content to spectate or speculate or postulate or pontificate about life, but people who are active participants in the movement for social justice and social change. I truly believe because you all are gathered here tonight, people are gonna live longer, people will have more healthcare choices, healthcare will be more affordable, and people will all enjoy a higher quality of life because of the work of the advocates and activists in general, and moveon.org in specific are doing and getting ready to do. Night. This is your moment. This is your moment to go to your congresspersons and senators and speak out like you did tonight on behalf of the majority of Americans who are behind you. Speak up and speak out on behalf out of the three or the four Americans who want you to succeed. Remind them that health care is not just underwriting statistics or numbers on an actuarial table or entries on a profit statement or just another claim to review or adjust or deny, you remind them that this is about real people. People like and her two-year-old baby and her widow, widower, real people. And you go out and speak on their behalf of the millions of uninsured and underinsured and anxiously insured. Speak on behalf of those who are one union negotiation away from higher deductibles and co-pays. Speak out on behalf of those who are one pink slip away from bankruptcy. Speak out on behalf of those who are one major illness away from losing everything. Speak out on behalf of the insurer who keep paying more and more and keep getting less and less. And you tell them that we need quality health care that is affordable and offered to all. And you tell them that we need a choice of a public health insurance plan. United and they're fighting together to oppose real health care reform because they're doing very well, thank you. They are profiting very nicely, thank you, under the current arrangements that puts profits before people. How many of you all heard of a guy named H. Edward Hanway? Raise your hand. Not many. Let me tell you who he is. He is the CEO of the giant Cigna insurance company. He made 12.2 million dollars last year. That's $5,883 an hour. He made 30 times more than the CEO of the United States, President Barack Obama. He makes more money in one day than the average working stiff makes all year long. And when he retires, he's going to get a golden parachute worth another 73 million dollars. And that's why the private insurance companies are fighting us so hard. Not because it will drive them out of business, but it will change the way that they do business. Well, we have a message for them tonight. No longer will we be held at the hostage and the mercy of the private health insurance companies that are denying coverage if you have a pre-existing condition, raising your premiums if you get sick, cashing out all together if you get too sick, chasing the youngest and healthiest person that can afford to pay, making it harder and harder to get their product the more and more you need it. 
You tell them that people have enough to worry about here in America. Keeping a job, finding a job, paying their rent, paying their mortgage, making ends meet. We need a choice of a public health insurance plan as a guaranteed backup with good benefit at a price that people can afford for never, never again, never again in America will people have to worry about getting the health care that they need. Never again in America. And you won't get it, and you won't get it because it's right, and you won't get it because it's fair, and you surely won't get it because the insurance industry gets an attack of conscience. The only way you're going to get it it's the only way Americans have got anything worthwhile in this country. You've got to demand it, you've got to fight for it, and you've got to be in it. <laughs>